This is the Jocko Underground Podcast with Echo Charles and myself, Jocko Willink. There are things in life. There are there are opportunities in life to walk away from things yeah. and say, I'm not doing this anymore. I kind of mentioned to you, this to you the other day. I call it flipping over the chessboard. Oh, yeah. And the reason I call it this is because if you and I are playing chess and you start beating me in chess, yeah. let's say you beat me once, you beat me twice, you beat me three times, and the fourth game, I just... Just go. I flip over the chess board and I go. This is stupid. Yeah. And I just walk away. And I'm like, chess is dumb. It's a waste. It's a blah. It's this that. Right. Mm-hmm. Which I can definitely do. Right. Mm-hmm. I can absolutely justify it. It's easy to say it. And that's one example. And that's a limited example, right? And actually, you could kind of say that. Mm-hmm. You can kind of say, well, you know, chess. It's a finite game. It doesn't really apply to what you're doing doesn't apply to other parts of your life. Sure, there's some metaphor. You can say that. You can you can legitimately say that. But you can actually say this about anything, and that's where you gotta be careful. And by the way, I like chess. Chess is cool. It's fine. But think about big picture things. Like when you're growing up, mm-hmm. school. This is stupid. Mm-hmm. School is stupid. You look, I might have got close to saying that kind of thing, you know, a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, because I knew I was going to go in the military and oh, I don't need to be doing this, blah. but there was some friends of mine that were legitimately like, oh, this is stupid. School is stupid. It's dumb. So it's a way of taking a challenge and just throwing it in the garbage can mm-hmm. and therefore it's not a challenge anymore. Yeah. Um, politics at work. Mm. You know, like, oh, there's these politics going on at work. Oh, they're stupid. I'm not playing those games. Okay. Mm. You don't have to play those games. You don't have to. And it's actually easier just to say, I'm not playing all these games and just not progress. Yeah. Now, even right now, some people are listening, like, well, I'm not that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. They're like, oh, that, yo, I'm, not, I'm not playing these stupid games. Okay. Hey, man, you don't have to play the games. You can say they're stupid. You don't have to play chess either. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, here's one for me. Stretching. Like stretching, like physically stretching. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, they do. In the SEAL teams, some guys be like, running, running breeds cowardice. Mm. It's like kind of saying running is like, oh, we don't need to be able to run. Oh, like running like the like, exercise like, like running? running the exercise running. No, like, oh, well, I'm not going to run away. Mm. That's just an excuse. Um, you ever heard anyone talk about jujitsu and they're like rolling around with a bunch of sweaty guys? You ever heard that? Yes, like I people have. legitimately say that? Yeah, fully. That's flipping over the chessboard. A little bit. It's yeah. flipping over the chessboard. Uh, things that are hard tend to attract this type of, this is a type of excuse, basically. Mm. Making money, right? Mm-hmm. Now look, should making money be the one, number one uh, goal of your life and you should prioritize, no. But when people are like, I don't care about money. It's a bunch of materialistic, it's like, okay. Well, you're probably not gonna make any then. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is when there's something, because it's hard to make money. It's hard to get a good job. It's hard to start a business. It's hard to have a skill or develop a skill that people need that people are willing to pay for. Mm-hmm. So you can either say, well, I need to work harder. I need to develop a skill. I need to pour more into my career so I can make more money. Or you can be like, well, I don't care about money. I get it. I get it. I get it. But I'm just saying, watch out. Eating right. This is eating clean. Mm-hmm. Do those people that eat like that are miserable? Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Are they really miserable when they're like healthy and feel good about themselves? You have to make sure that your little, f- this is me, I'm talking to myself. I have to make sure that my little flippant attitude isn't just a micro excuse or just a nice little rationalization of an excuse. Mm-hmm. We have to watch out for it. Uh, in Jiu Jitsu. Foot locks. Dude, those things aren't real jujitsu. Remember that? I mean, yes. it's kind of gone now, but for a yeah. long time, it's like, that's not real jujitsu. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. 
I'm not doing that. I'm just stupid. Yeah. Squats. Squats are dumb. Uh, CrossFit's stupid. Mm-hmm. CrossFit's a cult. You ever heard that? Yes, I have. Bro, hey, look, you don't have to do CrossFit. I don't care. But if what you say is like, I'm not doing it, it's a cult. Just be careful. Because yeah. those are some hard ass workouts. Deadlifts are dangerous. They say the same thing about squats. Squats are dangerous. Mm. Bro, you better just check. Um, I'm not. I'm not over here trying to keep up with the Joneses. Think about that one. That's a societal one. And yeah. listen, there's a reason that that exists. Yep. I get it. Oh yeah. We're not. You know, I'm not like, oh, Echo got a new car. I need to get new. I'm not saying that you should try and keep up with the Joneses. But at a certain point, if everything that takes effort is just trying to keep up with the Joneses, well, you just need to be careful. That's all I'm saying. Yep. It's a small form of excuses. I remember when I was a kid, I'd flip over a lot of chess boards. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. I flipped over way too many chess boards. Yeah. You know, from just things I'd be like, oh, it's dumb, this is stupid. Anything, like when I would meet a little bit, and I was, since I was like good at rationalizing, yeah. it was really easy just to flip over the chess board. Mm-hmm. This is dumb. We don't care about grades. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. Those things are dumb. And like I said, it's usually with things that are hard, usually with things that are challenging. So I'm just saying be careful. Just be careful. That's all it is. It's a little warning. Make sure you're not flipping over chessboards. Yep. There's going to be hard stuff. It, I get it. It's hard. There's going to s- be things that seem like they're tedious. There's a reason that they need to get done. And by the way, a good if you really want to figure out if something's dumb, get really good at it. You know, you want to be like, uh, I don't really like chess. Cool. Get good at it, and then be like, "Yeah, you know what? I, I played it for two years. Mm-hmm. I got to a how, how they rate chess? Chess Elo. Like, so explain, explain. It's called the Elo. It's a rating number. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget what it's. Do you know what yours is right now? Well, I am on chess.com, so I don't know how official these things mm-hmm. are. But but where are you at? Uh, I don't know yet because it changed because I have like five games going on at once, and it changes every time you win and lose. So okay. I don't know, probably six hundred okay. something right now. So. Maybe get to a certain point. What would be like a solid like purple belt? 1,200. Okay. So get to 1,200 and then be like, mm. wait, how much time and effort would it take to get uh, to 1,200? A lot. Okay. Well, maybe that's yeah. not the thing then. Yeah. I, I feel like, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Yep. And it's also like if you say, hey, listen, chess is not for me. I don't have the time and it's not, I'm not passionate about it enough that I want to follow up with it every day. Mm. That's that's more understandable than just a waste of time. Yeah. No. Jiu-Jitsu is rolling around with sweaty people. No, it's not. It's a skill set. Well, it is. <laughs> Technically, it is. <laughs> yes, it really is, actually. So uh, that's my it. point. Listen, my point is just be careful. Just be careful of when you say something, when you flip over that chessboard, when you say something stupid, when you di- – this is the word I was looking for, dismissing things. Yeah. When you dismiss things – Make sure that you're dismissing it for the right reasons. Mm. Make sure that your dismissal isn't just an excuse so you don't have to do something yep. that's challenging. Yep. For, uh, so my dad used to use this word, cop out. Right. Oh, it's yeah. A cop oh, yeah. out. oh yeah, for sure. My dad used that word too. Yeah, yep. and it's a good one, man. So it's, like, it is, it's that, no, like a lot of time anyway, it's mm-hmm. like a cop out, mm-hmm. right? This is dumb. So it's like, yeah, you know, and especially just like you said, when you can rationalize it, when there's there's some truth in what you're yeah. thinking, there's some truth in it for sure. Like, yeah, what do you do? Spend all your time playing chess, bro? We live in the real world. You got stuff to do, you know, kind of a thing. And it's like, oh, there's some truth to that, mm-hmm. you know. But to say it's stupid, it's like, oh, I see what you're saying there. So you ever heard the expression sour grapes? You heard that, right? Sour grapes. Yes. So sour grapes, I didn't know where that came from or even exactly what it was, even though when someone used it, I could kind of understand. So mm-hmm. sour grapes is like the kind of like, oh, like it seems like you're bitter. So you dismiss things, you know, because you're bitter about them. So I thought, oh, bitter sour grapes. So this is what the, the old fable, what do you call it? fables? Mm-hmm. I think it's a fable. So this fox, right, was trying to eat these grapes that was up on this arch, right, or up on the grapevine, uh, like kind of high up. Mm-hmm. So the fox goes, oh, those looks like some good grapes. Let me jump up and eat them. He jumps up. He can't reach them. 
So it's like, dang. He's like, all right, well, I underestimated how high they are, so let me jump again. He jumps again even harder. Freaking can't reach them. So he's like, no, this time, oh, I'm going to get them because those look like some good-ass scrapes up there. He jumps, get, musters up all his energy, jumps up, still not even close, doesn't get them. And he looks back up at him. He's, he says, frick, they're too high. He's like, walks away. He says, the scrapes are probably sour anyway. Mm-hmm. And leaves. Mm-hmm. Same exact thing in a way. Yeah, very similar thing. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah, this is dumb. Like freaking, I don't need this. Yeah. Not only I don't need this, it's dumb. In yeah. fact, me doing this would be a, a bad move kind of a thing, like going to that extreme. So that's when you know you're copying out right mm-hmm. there. Only. It's true. The um, Anytime like it feels like anyway when you're, like your feelings are kind of extreme about it. That's like a red flag. Yeah. Like if you're like, this is dumb. Yeah. Like if you're like, oh yeah, chess seems cool, but you know, like, I don't know. It doesn't like spark my interest as much as it might, you know, some the next guy or whatever. That's one thing. But to be like to flip over the board and say it's dumb, mm-hmm. it's a little red flag right there. And here's the thing. Chess is the metaphor, the little tiny, tiny metaphor. What? really concerns me is when people do this about things in life yeah. big things in life yeah like i'm not gonna kiss ass and try and get promoted it's like is it just hard work yeah. is it just extra responsibility that you're avoiding yeah. look if you don't want to get promoted because you like where you're at and you like spending time with your family you don't want to be on call and you don't want to be a salaried employee and you like working but cool yeah but if you're just saying that yeah. as just a reason to not do something that's going to be challenging and hard and risky because there's a risk you don't get promoted, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Like, oh, this is stupid. Like, I like when I applied for the officer program mm. in the military. Right. It's real easy. Like, I didn't get picked up the first time. Yeah, oh, it's just, it's just. I don't want to be an officer, anyways. Yeah. Okay. I could have easily said that. Yeah. But that would have been just sour grapes. Sour grapes all say. day. So even look, little things for sure, but big things in life. Make sure you're not flipping over the chessboard. Yeah. That's what I got. Exercise is a big one, too. Exercise where people, is a huge you, one. you ever heard of the expression fit shame, fit shaming someone? You know, you know how there's fat shaming? Mm-hmm. There's fit shaming, apparently. Really? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I don't know, for example, like you see this guy who's really cut up, big muscles, super cut up, right? Mm-hmm. And people be like, oh, that's, that's kind of too much, you know? You're kind of <laughs> doing a lot over there, you know, kind of a thing. Or, you know how some people, they, they are very strict with what they eat and mm-hmm. don't eat, right? So let's say you're at a dinner party or you're at a party or something. And people say, bro, relax a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, freaking whether it be drink alcohol or freaking, bro, it's just cake, chill, you know, like freaking it's not that big a deal. It's like you live for this, you know, it's like you kind of give them a little bit of a shame for, mm-hmm. for staying on the path kind of in their own way. Because yeah. everyone's different, yeah, you know, yeah. people are different. Uh, people are on the path in different ways, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And yeah. someone's going extreme for themselves. Yeah in ways that p- other people might think is extreme and then they shame them for it because, you know, yeah. it's kind of this little bit of, it, it has the scent of sour grapes on that one. It does. And that's real scary because, you know, you ever heard that thing? That is a little excerpt of what we are doing on the Jocko Underground podcast. So if you want to continue to listen, Go to jockounderground.com and subscribe. And we're doing this to mitigate our reliance on external platforms so we are not subject to their control. And we're doing it so we can give you more control, more interaction, more direct connections, better communications with us, strengthen this legion of troopers that are in the game with us. So thank you. It's jockounderground.com. It costs eight dollars and 18 cents a month and if you can't afford to support us we can still support you just email assistance at jockounderground.com and we'll get you taken care of until then we will see you mobilized underground